little drippy drip on the tippy tip. Don't ever give up on your dreams. The Vietnamese bun me, the Italian sandwich. With the smallest sauce? For $3. Can I get the Italy Yi Fung? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a very special episode of Fun Bros Food. You guys know about our brand new sauce, Smala. It is part Chinese, part Italian. Historically, Chinatown and Little Italy and New York have been right next to each other for over a hundred years. Woo! So we're trying to bridge the gap today. That's what we're doing. The cultures are colliding. Bada bing, bada bam, bada boom. Let's get it. Hey, joining us today is Marcos World NYC. Starting off, Meiwa Fast Food. You guys know about the history of Meiwa Fast Food. They originally Decades ago started with this stall, then they expanded over here to the dining room, but you can go directly to the dining room and order from the kitchen over here. All right, everybody, thank you so much for clicking on that video, but real quick, we gotta take a trip to Rochester, New York to show you how you can 3D print at home with the new Elegoo 3D printers. Let's go. All right, I am here with the number one 3D printing guru on YouTube, Uncle Jesse. Hey. Man, great meeting you. What are we doing out here in Rochester? We are printing some smaller bottles for you guys Ooh, on some you. of these Elegoo 3D printers. This is the Saturn 3 Ultra resin 3D printer that is super affordable. Wow, how affordable is affordable? I'm talking $499 for a highly detailed machine. So something that probably used to cost $50,000, you can do it in your kitchen, it's like a nice Christmas gift oh. now. And we're even 3D printing some more things here on the Neptune 4, that's mm. $259. I am watching something get made in front of my face, it's crazy. And here's an example of some other, I know you guys are in some, some food, food stuff, yeah, yeah, so yeah. here are some little treats yeah. that I made for you guys. You got ramen in the bow, I love it. Did you need a little scallions with that? Yeah. Oh. All right, so man, we're looking at this Saturn III Ultra resin printer. I mean, what does that really mean and why is it so detailed? <laughs> because this is 12K resolution. Yeah, and, that's high res. And think about it, like your 4K TV or an 8K TV, this is 12 K's there, that's insane. And, and I guess to print something so detailed, how much does it even cost? I'm using the new Elegoo Rapid Resin, which is only 30 bucks, and I didn't even use half of the bottle for everything that I printed oh here, gosh. and it only took three hours to print. We need to get this cleaned up so I can show you what it looks like. I'm dropping it in some isopropyl alcohol that's gonna clean off any of the uncured resin on these 3D prints. All right, Jesse, you gotta tell me how this all works because the details on the leather of this Jordan 1 is crazy. Well, let me just tell you, you, there are two ways that you can go about doing this. I went the absolute easiest way, which is I just went online and found a file for free that I was able to download and 3D print. No modeling or anything right. like that. Necessary. So it was already a 3D model Someone, of the Jordan someone shoe. Someone has okay. already done that and provided it out in the wild for you to download. Elegoo offers a 3D scanner as well that you could run off and 3D scan your favorite pair of shoes or whatever it is to create that 3D printable file. Now, how did you do these Smala bottles where the Smala is squeezing now, out is, and it's... Exactly. Now, this is something completely unique and custom. So you guys sent me a photo over and I ended up going on my iPad and doing a very basic 3D modeling job to create a bottle and the actual splashing action. I am not a 3D modeling expert by any means. I barely know what I'm doing and was able to figure this out. And uh, listen guys, you can print little figurines, anything that you're really into, pop cultural stuff. However, you could also print stuff for your scooter, for your bicycle, so super useful stuff that you just need in your everyday life as well. You can even print helmets. Remember, everything on this table, as detailed as you want and as simple as you want, was printed on a Elegoo 3D printer. And I'll tell you this, this is like a technology that I didn't even imagine that you could have at home up until pretty much this year. So, I mean, I think it's amazing, guys. Elegoo is providing the best bang for your buck as far as 3D printers. The future is now. Check them out at the link down below. Get it for Christmas, maybe. But uh, thank you, Uncle Jesse. Back to the city. Hey, how's it going? Um, can I get the Pai Yu Mian? <laughs> she got it. She I understood. Got it, yo. You. She understood you. She That's understood what happened you. when you grew up in Chinatown your entire life. You still have to speak it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Marco, this is your very first time here, right? First time here. This is like nestled in Little Italy, and I never been here before. First it is, time all is. is it okay? We're kind of in the zone of Little Italy that the Chinese are slowly, you know, like they are ready. You, you guys are ready. You can say it's <laughs> you guys took over already. Encroached on or just, yeah. you know, we're chilling. It's all good. Actually, I actually coached you wrong but we got it all figured out. Originally, if you say mian, that'll give you the Chinese noodle. But if you say yi da li yi fun, 
then they're gonna give you the pasta. So on that note, can I get the Italy yi fung? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get, we get the I'm spaghetti. Getting, I'm getting Dude, better. Margaret, I'm getting better. Man, you speak Mandarin and Cantonese. I mean, listen, I'm a jack of all trades, I'll tell you that. All right, you guys, we're at Mei Wah Fast Food. Everything's around $7.25 to $8. And uh, you actually got an Italian pasta option. I, I had to do the pork chops with the noodles, the pasta. I mean, listen. It but, but it's even... not pasta in Chinese, it's... Oh, what the f***ing <laughs> man. You put me on the spot, I got it, and, and just like this spot is in between Chinatown and Little Italy, so is Mala, man. We made this sauce inspired by the Italian Calabrian chili oil and the Chinese mala chili oil, so. And they got Shanghainese it... fried rice here, because it's, it's a Taiwanese spot, but there's definitely some Shanghainese influences. Mmm. Yeah, I got the chi tue. This is the chicken thigh right here. Now, how you like the, oh, the jumpa? Ri I am ripping off this jumpa. I want to put the smaller sauce on the jumpa. Mm. Cause I only had it on noodles, and I'll tell you what, I love the smaller sauce. It has, it has a beautiful kick to it. The noodles will kind of obviously dry. You put this on it, if you like a little spice, I'm gonna really like this over here. Yeah. Um, I just choked on a bone or something. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Yeah. It's never, never not enough spice over there. Oh my God, I love that, love that. I'm a big fan of chili oil, but I'm an overall big spice guy. I gotta say, the smaller with the pork chops go together like wild on rice. That's really, really good. And listen, you know it's a cheap eat wow. because it's not just under $10. It's way under $10. It's way under $10. It's $10. under $8 here. You guys, we're trying to smala, like we said, on the pasta, the yidali yi fun, on the ji tui. Who does pasta better, Chinese or Italians? <laughs> For well, pasta, you guys got it. We got it, all right, here we go, here we go. I love it. The smaller sauce with the pork chops, full of flavor. It's an explosion of flavors. I gotta say, I love the smaller sauce too because it, it gives it, it steps, a, it steps it up a notch. It gives it the kick it needs. It's quite aggressive and honestly, it's satisfying from the soul down to the good old bra joe. So one of the low key famous things for the uh, older folks at Meiwa Fast Food, it's not just the pork chop, it's not just the chicken leg, it's actually the five spice jiang, AKA sauce that they put on the rice yeah. or, or pasta. Mm. It's AKA this kind of like blue. peppery, Brown sauce, you can see the five spice markings. You see those little black specks? That's the five spice right there. That's a, f wow. Yeah. Mm, I like that, I love that. And they and they can put it on anything here at Maywa. That's why I like, and Maywa, literally everything we got is 750. So you got your carbs, you got a little veggie, you got your protein for 750, under $10, and under I, $8. And I gotta say, this is the most luxurious cheap eats I've ever had in Chinatown, probably in the world, and I have to say, it's made with nothing but love over here. Sub $8, guys. You cannot beat it. Maywa Fast Food, Hester. Next up on our Chinatown Little Italy food crawl is Cafe Napoli. Yo, this is actually owned by your family friend, right? Yo, yeah, and it's been around for over 50 years, and the food is delicious. And, I mean, this is a staple here in Little Italy. When you think of Little Italy, a lot, a lot of restaurants here, but I feel this is one, to, for me, that sticks yeah, out the most. Because some come and go, but Cafe Napoli stays around. It right? stays around. It's a legendary spot right here. Oh, I can't wait to try some small on it. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, here at Cafe Napoli, we have the prosciutto pizza. Mm. We put a little small on there. The little drizzle, baby with the floppy thin crust, deliciously done here. I have to fold it over. I'm about to eat it before you do, that looks so good. You know what I love about it, is it's kind of like a hybrid between the Neapolitan style and the New York style, but more towards the Neapolitan style. More. Exactly, and this is actually a new uh, item on the menu, which mm. I love, you know, ca uh, Cafe Nappe, I love what they do here because they're getting in with the times, and the pizza here, I gotta say, I'm so happy they did that because it's fucking nothing sort of delicious right here. Pizza is one of my top five Top three things to put smala on pizza. Yo, you got it. Here we go. You're a real I'm like Italian. A, I'm, Mark, like a real. I'm a pasta maker. You today, really man. are. I like it because like the smala kind of changed the the color tone a little bit. I love it. Made it a little more tan. Yeah. Wow. Here we go. Wow we. Um, wow we. Honestly, guys, we are here right now having some of my absolute favorite all-time picks of smala on it. Carbonara is certainly up there as well with pizza. Yeah. Listen guys, any sort of white base, carbohydrate or cream sauce, aioli. Perfecto. Perfecto. It just looks I cool love, too. It looks cool, when you, it looks like a bloodbath, but more importantly, it tastes very, very good with the carbonara. Mm. Gotta twirl it like a twirly, like you twirl your girlfriend at night. Twirl it around, look at that. Man. Wow. I love the carbonara here. It's very super creamy. You got the cooked prosciutto, immaculate, and the smaller sauce. Again, I think my favorite item that was on the, the smaller sauce 
my favorite item that was on the smile sauce easily the carbonara Ooh. i gotta say now one thing i do want to know up. so you know uh, this this olive oil is delicious and i think that it even a, can accompany your olive oil if you don't want to go full olive oil you add in the smala so it's wow. almost like the smala olive oil right there and you just eat it with the bread andrew you are a genius you were sent from above, I gotta tell you. Oh, tingle. Just a drop? Yeah. Ooh, just a little drop? Oh, yeah, that's five drops. Let's go. And then you do the little drizzle right there. There it is, boom. Yo. I gotta say, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this hot sauce, with the chili oil. Because I don't think it's hot sauce. I think hot sauce is just hot. This has a lot of flavor. We, you guys executed it. We call it smala sauce, smala chili oil, whatever it is to you. Now, I've tried it on ice cream. I thought it was good, but let's try it on the Italian cannoli. Ooh, a little drippy drip. A little drippy drip on the tippy tip. Let's go. Ooh. It's definitely very sweet with a spice. I, that's very unorthodox to put on a cannoli. It's like a spicy dessert. What do you think? Is that kind of weird? It's very weird and unorthodox, but it tastes good. Mm. <laughs> like, it's so weird, and my grandmother would be cursing me right now doing this, but she she should try it. It's really good, actually. <laughs> you know, cannolis, are they in my diet right now in 2023? No, but I'm going to go ahead and break outside of that box for the pistachio cannoli. The pistachio cannoli. The pistachio. I know a lot of flavor in there, That's right a pistachio. There, right? That's the most yeah, different tasting. Yeah, That's really? the most different. Yeah, let me eat it from the other... <laughs> Strong pistachio. I've I never know. had a pistachio cannoli in my life. Oh. This is it. Wow. It is. Delicious. All right, Marco, how many right. are we doing? We ate a lot of dumplings, we ate a lot of food. Gotta, you know, get it back into shape a little bit. Marco, don't ever uh, give up. Don't uh, ever give up on your dreams. Don't ever give up on your dreams. You keep uh, going. Let's eat. Let's go. All right, you guys, next up after Cafe Napoli, we've got a brand new legend in Chinatown, Sammy Wago. Yeah, and I think it's key that this is a new late night cheap eat too. Late night? Like, this is open though, like what, 2 a.m.? Yeah, 2 a.m. on weekends, I believe, and I think on weekdays, midnight. Yeah, so I mean, it's a, it's a late night cheap eat. How I'm, familiar are you with this spot? I never heard of it before. I'm more into the old school spots because I grew up here, but all the new school spots I really don't know about, but that's why I have you guys to teach, to teach me. Hey, listen guys, it goes perfect with Smala. These are Taiwanese Guatia dumplings. Uh, like we said, it's pot stickers, but it's definitely Sammy Wago style. Pot stickers. Oh, okay. Everything here, especially the dumplings, it's all pretty much under $10. You can get them as cheap as $8, but you can get the more premium ones for $11. But it is absolutely a cheap eat and a late night eat. At a brand new legend here, it's a late night Chinatown cheap as well as a cheap Chinatown eat. We're at Sammy Wago. Marco, I mean, you've never been here, but never we gotta been. show you the way. So, so the difference between a dumpling and a pot sticker is a pot sticker has been seared on the bottom. Because it oh, sticks to the pot. Gotcha. You were asking us earlier. But anyways, they got an array of things. They got the sesame honey chicken, chicken wings, uh, the popcorn chicken, and then kimchi dumplings, the signature, and chicken now. So, Ooh. man, which, which one you go so, to? So, first? I mean, this is a little bit of a step up. I love all the Chinatown cheap dumpling spots, Tasty Dumpling, China North. But this, this maybe one level up. Yeah, okay. It's still affordable. It's still under $10. Yeah, so. under $10, and they give you a lot of dumplings. How many dumplings do we have in it for an order? They're still playing uh, C pop and K pop at the same time. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I'll, I'll pour some, I'll drizzle some smala as well as the house sauce. This is the one. signature there one. This is a kimchi we'll one. The kimchi one. Uh, look at that the sear kimchi. on the bottom. They actually wow. have their own, like, self made, uh, customized, like, dumpling grills oh back there. God. Let's go. Let's do a little drizzle. Smala drizzle. Let's go. Cool. Ba 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 ba. Sammy Wago. Cheers. Mm. The kimchi and the, like he said, the bottom is so super charred. So you got that nice crunch with the kimchi that makes it a little mm. sweet. And then smaller sauce, boom. Savory, sweet, a nice little treat. Dump a good day. Like I always say, keep the doctor away. Hey man, <laughs> check out the mallard effect on the bottom. That's normally the sear you want to get on a steak, mm. but you can get it for a dollar at a dumpling spot. All right, but they don't only have dumplings. Let's try this. Honey sesame chicken, this is kind of like, you know, the dish, as we would say, for the guaylos. The guaylos. <laughs> what does that mean, guaylo? Am I guaylo? For the non-Chinese. Non <laughs> <laughs> All right, chicken wings. You already know how to eat it, right? You just break it. I'm trying to pull, I'm trying to do the bone pull thing. Uh. There we go. Then you just shove it, get a little chicken lollipop. Taiwanese popcorn chicken. Gotta throw the smala on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get in there, a little drizzle. 
If you guys ever want to order it at a Chinese spot uh, in Mandarin, at East, it's a uh, Yan Su Ji. Yan Su Ji. So bad. Mm. Oh my god. A great late night cheap eats as well, right here. And this is eight, these, the dumplings start at $8. So I think, I, I think it's a cheap eat, man. Listen. It's a new cheap eat. Yo, guys, we're here at Monero's Pizza, the only slice shop in Little Italy. Guys, what do you say? Yo, I, we, I love what they're doing with the slices. We got the white slice, we got the Caesar salad slice, we have an original pep. And I'm gonna tell you this, man, I'm so excited to try small on it because. You know, you gotta try it on the slice spot, on the best slice spot. And they got really 1980s music playing right now, like we're doing like a, uh, what's our name? Chris, Christy Brickley Listen, workout video. I'm about, I'm about to do the fucking electric slide in a second. I don't know what Yo, it, it's a vibe out here, it's a vibe out here. All right, Caesar salad, I'm gonna chop it off. I've never even seen the Caesar wow. salad hey, slice. Hey, hey let, me, let me write your initials, Marco. There we go, ML. How you doing? <laughs> there, we there we go. David, you go, you going with the Caesar because you're trying to watch your weight, right? No, no, that's Marco. Oh, no, that's yeah, Marco. Hey, I mean, I got a couple. I have a gland problem. I gotta yeah, watch my weight. Because we know? all know how healthy Caesar salads are. Yeah. 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 Monero's pizza with smala oh. sauce. Smala's inspired by the Italian and Chinese cuisines. Uh, how how much is a uh, per slice? Oh, these are like four dollars a slice. Four fifty. Four dollars. Listen, guys, it's a cheap. Oh, it's, it's a, a big nice slice cheap too. eat right here. Yeah, definitely. Salad on pizza, I approve. With the smallest sauce, I approve even more. Oh my god. They put so much cheese on this pizza. Mm. And you know it's good when I want to eat the crust. I'm not actually not a crust guy. Andrew, like any slice, you gotta attack it doggy style. Always doggy style on slices. Whether it's Neapolitan style or it's more like New York style sliced pizza, I'm telling you, small pizza. That's a banger combination. Mm. All right, you guys, continuing our food crawl throughout Chinatown to Little Italy, we are in front of Bun Mi Ko U. Now, when you're talking about sandwiches between the two neighborhoods, you're gonna be talking about the Italian sandwich and the Vietnamese sandwich, because the Chinese, to be honest, they don't really have sandwiches. But, uh, of course, in Chinatown, it's not only Chinese food, and we're outside of Bun Mi Ko U. This is one of the best Bun Mi shops. All right, thank you, come on. All right, guys, I have the souped up $13 Vietnamese bun mi. You can obviously get bun mi's at a way cheaper price here, but let's check it out, guys. I got extra Vietnamese ham and I got extra mayo. Take a look at this, David. Oh, not only that, I got extra carrots and daikon. Look at that. Look at those layers, all those veggies, extra butter. Let's get into it. Obviously, you can get uh, you know a sandwich for eight dollars here, but I got it for thirteen. So. Mmm. Oddly enough, the pate almost gives a feeling that there's like a tuna sandwich mixed into here. Mmm. I just think it's cool that the two sandwiches you can get in Little Italy are the Vietnamese sandwich and the Italian sandwich. And I can't wait to compare it to the Italian sandwich. Not saying it's competition, okay? They're both sandwiches and both amazing in their own right, but... Man, I'm, I'm digging it. Bummy co Ooh! I think one of the most interesting things about Little Italy is the influx of people from Italy. So we're actually in front of uh, Il Gelato Italiano Figo, and I'm gonna be getting this uh, real Sicilian gel gelato brioche right here. Hey, brioche. listen guys, I know if you guys are concerned about caloric or protein macros, this is probably not the way to go. But I'm telling you, this is delicious. David, is that how you're supposed to eat it? I don't know. I'm telling you guys, you had no idea that brioche with gelato was gonna work, but, but between the fig flavor, which is figo, and the stracciatella, man, crazy. Listen guys, straight from Italy, only $8. This is a cheap eat. All right, everybody, so we just got a Vietnamese bun mi with Vietnamese ham, and then now I'm at Regina's up on Mulberry to get an Italian sandwich with Italian ham. Let's go. It's uh, quite a different vibe than Bummy Ko U. I got this smoked chicken hero right here, guys. Take a look at this. Oh, with a little chili peppers. Wow, look at that color. Look at the green. It's very aesthetic looking, and I got the little seeds on the top. I really like to see that, man. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, obviously, so this sandwich is significantly more expensive than the bun mi. This was about $18, but it does seem to be, you know, have a lot more different colors in there. So anyways, check it out. Here we have nice slices of tomato, 
um, lettuce, lots of juice. We've got the little chili uh, peppers in there. I'm gonna pour some smala onto it. Ha ha. Let's check it out. Smoked chicken here at Regina's, Italian sandwich. No joke, I think there is space for a really cool collab between an Italian sandwich spot and a bun me shop. I'm not gonna lie, I think there's actually some cool crossover that you can do because both sandwiches are gonna use pickled elements, you know? And I would say, for example, this smoked chicken maybe doesn't have as much salt or flavor as the Vietnamese ham, but if I got ham or prosciutto or, or salami in there, maybe it's a different story. Mm. All right, so when comparing the two types of sandwiches in Chinatown in Little Italy, here you have the Vietnamese bun mi, which you can find in Chinatown, of course, and then you have the Italian sandwich. Obviously, the Italian sandwich to me is gonna be a lot more juicier because it has maybe more like vinegar and like juiciness dripping, but the bun mi is gonna definitely have a sweeter vibe to it. Um, the meats are gonna be different depending on what you want, but there is a bun mi that actually reminds me of a tomato meatball sandwich, which is the siu mai, the sao mai sandwich with sauce on it. So if you get that, it probably will kind of taste like a meatball sub. But anyways, you got your options. The bun meat probably will be a couple dollars cheaper, but this one, I'm not gonna lie, the bread might win because it's got the sesame seeds on front. So check it out. Little Italy in Chinatown though, no competition. It's just fusion. Maybe they should fuse together, eat them together on top of each other. All right, you guys, we have arrived at one of the mother of all cheap eats in Chinatown, Shu Jiao Dumpling. Like you see on the receipt right here, $4.50 for the dumplings, $3 for the ban mian, which are these wiener, uh, peanut wheat noodles. And of course, guys, we have to try the ban mian with sma la. That's gonna give it that extra kick because obviously the peanut noodles and the hoisin is not going to be that, you know, spicy. Here we go. I'm telling you guys, they went viral on TikTok for a reason. You could not get a better plate of noodles for $3 flat. Are you kidding me? They offer a lot of different options. When they were at their old spot on Elridge, they didn't offer chicken. A lot of people nowadays do not eat pork. So, you know, you got some different options. You can go with the soy sauce. You can go with the la. Now, this is ji mo gu. Ji is chicken, mo gu is mushroom. Boom, guys, $5, you get 10. If you guys are in the Little Italy, Chinatown area, it does not almost get any better of a deal than this. Shu Jiao. Shout out to the Fujinese.